As we focus on the greatest gift that we share, the gift of God's Son on Christmas, we invite you to consider that sacred night that Jesus was born. On that night, so quiet in a lowly stable, so joyful as a family welcomed their baby boy into the world, the light of the world came to earth. Many people played a role in that blessed night. How did they feel to be a part of that first Christmas? Now we joyfully celebrate the emotions of joy and grace and love that filled that first Christmas, and those same emotions we can feel in our hearts every day we share with those we love. Welcome. I'm the innkeeper in the town of Bethlehem. I know that you know the story, and many of you think I was a bit harsh when I told Mary and Joseph there was no room in the inn. But how was I to know what was about to happen in my little stable? During that time, our little town was growing more crowded by the day. It was a busy time for an innkeeper. On one night, as I was serving an overcrowded inn, a servant brought a message that another couple was at the door looking for a space to rest. I went out to tell them there was not a place for them when I realized that the woman was preparing to have her child. I opened up my stable to them. Oh, had I only known, I would have given my own room for this couple, for this new family. We can all learn from the events of that night. We can be thankful for the blessings of family, for the warmness of the love we feel, and for the kindness we can find in our hearts for those who come into our lives unexpectedly. I'm just a young woman, but as with every person, God has a plan for me. I remember the day Gabriel explained my role in God's plan for the world. The mother of God's son? Wow! How can it be me? How can I tell Joseph? Then, as I knelt before the angel, my heart was overflowing with love and grace, and I said yes. Although I trusted the Lord, I was nervous, but the love overflowing in my heart for the child to come carried me forward to that night in Bethlehem. Even in his first moments on this earth, God's plan for my child was unfolding. So many people visited us on that night, guided by a beautiful star and voices of angels. I could see that this child would bring people together as the shepherds arrived in the fields and stood before, besides the royalty afar from their quiet night in this lovely manger would spring forth a savior for all people. I am Joseph, and let me tell you, my life has changed a lot lately. You see, my life was going along as usual. My carpentry kept me busy, and I was engaged to a kind and beautiful girl named Mary. We had plans for a future together and for a family, but then everything changed. One day, an angel visited Mary and told her that she was to be the mother of God. We would raise our child with grace and joy together. Then it came time to travel to Bethlehem, so very far, and I was worried about Mary. I wanted to protect her and our child, but we had to make the trip. Upon our arrival, I could find nowhere to stay until we met a kind and generous innkeeper who offered his warm, dry stable. There, our child was born, and in that night I knew God's plan for us was greater than I could ever imagine. From that night forward, God provided just what we needed, and I learned that when I placed my trust and my hope in God, I would have all that I needed. This time of year is so cold! We animals usually spend a good deal of time in the warmth of our stable. I remember one particularly cold winter's evening when we had some strange and wonderful visitors. It was dark, when they arrived, and they were very clearly tired and needed to rest. They found comfort in the warmth of our stable, and we watched them as they rested. Later in the night, 
the young woman gave birth to a child. I was worried for the small boy, so fragile in the cold night air. I stepped forward to the manger and used my wooly body to warm the child and his mother through that night. Funny thing, though. Well, I know I was keeping them warm. It was the warmth of their love for each other that was more vivid than anything, <laughs> any other thing in the stable that night. They call me the star of wonder. They said my light shone with royal beauty. In fact, I am a shining light in a dark sky. But what I did is what fills me with that warm glow that shines forth. I was set in the sky above a small town named Bethlehem. And in this town, there was a small stable attached to an inn. Long before I could see the story unfold, I was set in that spot. And men from afar began a journey toward me. And one night, a young couple made their way into the stable to rest. And their child was born right there. Upon his birth, I grew brighter and was joined in the sky by glowing angels singing the most beautiful music. From my vantage, I could see shepherds approaching. The wise kings arrived after their journey, all of them, right beneath me. And most beautiful of all was the family there, so full of love that their warmth glowed through the darkness below. I am the angel who brought good news to the shepherds. You should have seen their faces. As an angel, I have witnessed the glory and splendor of heaven and earth. I have heard choirs of angelic voices. That night, the singing was more beautiful and joyful than I had ever heard. The heavenly hosts put on quite a show. And how could they help themselves? They were sharing the most wonderful news in the whole history of time. They were the first to share the news. God loves us so much, he sent his son to earth. I live and work in the fields near the town of Bethlehem. Being a shepherd sounds like a peaceful and calm job, and often it is, but one night it was extremely exciting. It began like any other night. The other shepherds and I were sitting around the fire, keeping warm and sharing stories. Suddenly, the sky was filled with a light brighter than I had ever seen before. It took my breath away. Then an angel appeared and spoke to us. The angel said, Fear not. That was a difficult request in this amazing moment, since the light was so bright and we had never seen an angel before. We were afraid. But we were captivated, and we listened to their message, the most beautiful music we had ever heard. In their song, they told us of a child born in Bethlehem on this cold and dark night. We could not imagine why the angels came to us to share this wonderful news. So we began our journey to the lowly stable in Bethlehem to see for ourselves. There, we found the child in a manger. We remember this night with great joy, and the love in our hearts overflows as we think of the light in that small, crowded stable. I am Melchior, one of the kings who followed the star of Bethlehem, who came from distant lands seeking the Christ child. On our long journey, long and difficult, I sometimes wondered if we were crazy for deciding to follow that star. Then... After what seemed like a never-ending search, we came upon a lowly stable, and there we found God's greatest gift. Mary, the child's mother, looked astonished to see us when we arrived. I could understand why. We were dressed in our regal robes and brought royal gifts to offer to her son. As we knelt before the baby boy, we understood why we took the journey why we followed the star, each of us on a journey, and if we follow God's light through our lives, we can feel joy and love for others every day. Pum 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 pum. Hey there, I am a drummer boy. I play music for the people here in Bethlehem. In return, they are very kind to me, because I am always around in town. I notice when new people arrive. 
Even amidst the crowds and bustling at this time, I noticed some new people arriving late one night. Shepherds came into town, which is unusual because they stay in the fields with their sheep and keep to themselves. I began to follow along behind them to see where they were heading until I turned to see the most royal of men arriving at the gates. They were looking up at a bright star that had recently appeared in the sky and seemed to be following the path of its light. In the darkness, I crept along behind them and their camels, laden with treasures. They came to a stop in front of a small stable, glowing with lamplight from within. The shepherds were kneeling before a manger where a small child was laying in the hay. I looked at this child, a child like me, and I knew he was so very special. With all my heart, I played for the child on my drum. Each of us had a gift to share with the child on that cold night in Bethlehem, just as each of us has a gift to share with those around us each day. We hope you take this message of love forth as you celebrate the Christmas season with your loved ones. All of us at Monsignor Slade hope that the joy that Christmas brings for you and your family can last the whole year through. We wish you a very Merry Christmas.